My loser of the week, oh, I've got to give it this week again to the US left-wing media because they really are capitulating into oblivion, aren't they? The best one for me is Ellen DeGeneres, who is, by the way, a very nasty person. I've had dealings with her in Australia. Oh, ooh, bit of Could course. I tell you some stories about that cow? <laughs> but anyway, good riddance to her, but... I, you know, she was quite friendly with that P. Diddy bloke, wasn't she? Well, th this is why I say release the Diddy files. Yeah. Don't so, the you know. Files. Come on, Donald Trump. We want to know whose name. So maybe she's hightailing out of there before all that is thrown at her as well. But what a bunch of hypocrites. I wonder if they had carpet burns, those MS, those MS, 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 MS <laughs> fools. <laughs> MS. <laughs> The groveling, you know, what was the point? You've called him Hitler. You've called him Fast. a dictator. Mm. You've called him all these slurs over the years only to trot yourself off to Mar-a-Lago and hope for the very, be very best. Well, Trump must have loved it. I bet he really of will course. make them pay. Mm. And, you know, he's not an idiot. So, we know, no. you know, we know those two morons are going to just get their come up with somewhere along yeah. the line. But... I just find the hypocrisy of all these people is just astounding. And, uh, look, it's just so wonderful to see them cowering and groveling like that. Isn't but, that beautiful you know, stuff. the true beautiful characters stuff. are coming out that they've, they've got no character, that they actually have no courage of their convictions. Nothing. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, commit. Commit. Thank you. Oh! Yes. <laughs> That's what she did. And he's sitting there in the power position like, yeah, do it, baby. Pose. Pose. Yeah. Show him your brain. <laughs> I didn't know that Megan Kelly was this funny. When I look at the whole thing, everyone is mocking MNBC. All right. What does the panel think of Ellen leaving the country? Hollywood is in panic. And Len debuted a new look in England after reportedly leaving the United States because of Donald Trump presidential victory. I have seen a lot of people and articles coming out about this, some linking to Didi. Celebrities are starting to leave the US. When? Why didn't she do that in 2016? That's my question. A lot of people are speculating that she's using this Trump win as an excuse to leave the country when in reality, she's trying to get away because of the Diddy situation. Ellen DeGeneres was one of Diddy's super close friends. She's had her on her show many, many times. And even Elon Musk knows that it's very fishy that she's leaving the country because he just tweeted this, the GOAT. Elon Musk says it like it is. He is sharing this wide conspiracy that Ellen DeGeneres is actually leaving the country because the government is on to her with how close she is to Diddy. And if she's in the UK, they can't reach her. This is how her tweet went that Elon shared. Happy birthday, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, or as I call him, Cuddle McNuggle stuff. You don't need to know why. Very odd. When you take a look at this actor, during that campaign period, this is what he said. American actor Rob said he would set himself on fire if Trump wins the 2024 election. Mm. Today, the guy sent this out. I have made the decision to take the next few days to check into a facility for peace and relaxation. No phone, social media, no trust, just calmness to heal my pain. Mm. Trump broke these people. He cannot even take it again. Just imagine going in to isolate yourself after I really don't understand the kind of mentality these people have. When Trump won 2016, we never saw this. He did nothing to any person or harm anyone. Why are they panicking like this? Especially these Hollywood celebrities. I don't get it. I want to send a message to the Biden Harris administration. If they see this, they see this. If other bigger creators make similar messages, that would be great. You asked us to mobilize. We mobilized. You asked us to volunteer. We volunteered in droves. You asked us to donate. We donated. Over a billion dollars we donated. You asked us to fight. We fought. Now stop asking us to send more money and the fight begins now when you know damn well the fight is now in your hands not ours. Stop showing us that you're going to play by the rules when you know very well that they're not playing by the rules. The rules have changed. 
You need to take action now. If you voluntarily turn this country over to the autocratic dictator and his clown show of an administration that he's been assembling, if you let democracy fall in this country, if you let millions of people die, and you know millions of people will die under that administration, then your legacy and the one thing you will be remembered for in history is allowing democracy to fall in the United States. The Biden-Harris administration will be known throughout history as the administration that let this country turn into an autocratic dictatorship and you know we'll never get it back. If the options are dictatorship or civil... This one is indirectly calling for civil war. Insane, right? They are still having hopes that something can be done. <laughs> it is crazy at this point. If you see other mentality, people are gradually even going out. You are still here spewing these. All right, what does the panel think of Ellen leaving the country? Oh, <laughs> I, th this I find so fascinating because first Ellen is canceled by the left. I mean, she, she said I was kicked out of show business. That wasn't from the right. That was because she had a toxic workplace and all the things that the people are. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then Trump gets, so she's canceled by the left in her country, but then she's leaving the country because the right got elected. I'm just asking. The right got elected. I'm just asking about that. I don't know. Well, completely compute, right? Did she sell her house? You think she's really going to leave? Yes, her? she's already there. Where? And she announced Which England. England. Cotswold, England. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. No. I, I know. I, I met her mother, and I don't think she would have agreed with that. Her mother is very down to earth. Her mother. She's, well. she's always lived in L.A., right? Yeah. Now she's in the Cotswolds. Yeah. I give it like four months. report that the GDP per capita of the UK, if it were a state of the United States, would be 51st. Right. And so there's a very big difference between living in the United States and living anywhere else in the world. Best so I, 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 think have, she's, I think she's overreacting. But if you have money, okay. every place is good. Right? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Speaking fee. Oh, that's that's their normal salary. Maybe she'll come back home for the holidays. We don't know. No. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> Even Libras are mocking her. She's overreacting. <laughs> I didn't expect this actually. When you look at the whole situation, you know, surrounding her, you know, it is actually difficult to figure out what exactly why she did that. I understand it is strong. If Kamala won, this lady would not leave. Impossible for her to do that. But I just believe that with time, they will recover. If they see a lot going on smoothly, they will rethink, change their decision. Those living social media will come back. As of now, let's just observe and see. Play that sound for me. Again, with what Oprah Winfrey said the day before the election on the campaign trail for Kamala, for Kamala Harris. Could you play that sound for me again, please, to refresh everybody's memory? Play Immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yes. of course, I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested area. Build the wall. Like, what? I was just reading something about CNN's ratings <laughs> and MSNBC's ratings post-election. They've crashed. All these left-wing kooks on YouTube are hemorrhaging subscribers. Cat turd. Yeah. He's got a knot. Attack the left, do not attack everybody. Let them all talk their shit, but unite. Now yeah. it's time. I want you to know what would change after doing this. I'm gonna shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. That guy. I mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute, absolute prick. I can't stand him. But anyway. <laughs> uh hey there. I'm guessing you're not doing great. Me neither. Let's be honest, it was a terrible night. What will the rest of us 
be doing on day one. Right, now, well, <laughs> Bishop Vigano, he says that the a lot of people were confused about why the sacrifice. But that's okay because you know what? Listen, 